Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of West of Loading. This is Komi Horton. Uh, Darko Maddox Moose School. Oils I have done. Hold on. Potionology. Ironically, the oils from your fingers destroyed the fragile old book while you were reading it. Snake stuff. A spleen mixed with a liver. Flammable bullet oil. A spleen mixed with a venom gland. A venom gland mixed with a spleen. A venom gland mixed with a liver. Stop, stop chemisterizing. <laughs> Real politics. Doc O'Matic mutton chop. Doc Rick mouth beholder. Doctor Sticks mouth beholder. Doc side ticks milkshake hour. Real politics moose school. Soup stock load. Let's go. Some kind of crazy skeleton charges at you from behind a rocky outcropping. He's crazier than most animated walking human skeletons you see because he's got a buffalo skull for a head and you aren't aware of there having been any buffalo headed people living in this area. You, you know, historically. You stand your ground and wait patiently as the buffalo headed skeleton charges towards you. Just before he reaches you, he trips on a rock. Being incredibly top heavy, he's unable to keep from falling over and bones fly everywhere with a crash. Cool. Alright, what do you say, Pete? Oh, look, another mine. Say, do you smell something? Yep, soup stock loads famous for it. They hit a real rich vein here, I heard. Vein of what, exactly? Soup! Why do you think they called it that for? I see. This pile of tailings smell a lot like onions. Meat. Locker has stuff. Toolbox. Got the hammer and a monkey wrench. Oh, I can't grab the soup. Cultist mask. Well, I didn't mean to go here, but this is fine. Oh, that takes over my coal. That takes over my fake popat. I don't like that cultist mask. Whoever was camping here left in a hurry. Diary. Entry one. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear I can feel it get it into my pores. If I went to a doctor for a blood test, he'd probably tell me my blood is tomato basil bisque or whatever. We finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master, but it turns out the dang soup table is higher than we thought. We're spending 90% of our time bailing the stuff out and only 10% digging. I've got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. Now the damn elevator's busted. It was always making a rattling noise and the guys off shift couldn't sleep. That finally stopped. But it stopped because the elevator itself stopped and we can't move it at all. Why did we even set up camp here? I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacement 137, 59, and 23 pound compression springs for repairs. We'll, we'll install them tomorrow. Boss says we're giving up here and heading into a real deep mine they found up northwest. It's a shame we wasted all this work, but hot damn it'll be good to get away from this soup. I'll never eat soup again in my life. Got the springs installed proper like with the strongest behind the shortest bolt and so on, but there's no time to wrench everything down. Got a pack. Not like the elevator matters much anyway anymore. 
Really hope I don't screw up again and forget my diary here when it's time to leave. I don't think I've ever managed to fill in more than 10 pages in the same diary. On 37, 59, 23. What? Oh shit. I did that on accident. I was goofing. I don't get a choice, it's making me go down the elevator. Soup! El Vibrato Transponder. Oh god, snakes. I'll beat up some snakes. Screw this Snoop, uh, ah, Snoop Snake. Soup Snake. Let's park at the moon in this scavenge candle. You're absolutely crazy, Pete. This is why I, this is why I love your existence. Bam. Look at this. It's gonna do one damage. Hey, can you stop hitting me, th please? Thank you. Bam. This dude snake. What do you know? What do you know? Can I eat that? Uh, I need to level up my grit. Yes! I can eat it. I'm gonna eat this dude snake. Now I can cross this. I don't have a suitable vessel bullshit. Going in here for the El Vibrato shit. The sign says, Cushono Crocus Tasta Binocaro Cuscro. I need a keystone. Cushono Crocus Tasta Binocaro Crocuso. I hope uh, Crocus uh, Tasta. There's nothing in here for me to take. Damn. Wait, can I just leave from the map? I think I can. I can. I'm just gonna wander. Hmm, you know, this spot looks about familiar. I think I came around this way when I spent those months kind of wandering around in a daze. When you what? Nah, it's a story for another time. Pretty sure I carved my initials on one of those rocks, though. Ha! <laughs> He shows you a boulder with OP chiseled into the side of it. Your initials are OP? What do they stand for? OP? Oh yeah, of course. Wander. Fort Memoriam. Let's go. A fort. And new cactus. Yow. Why are they wearing what I think? Why are they wearing that? Reboot Hill. Okay. Got candy, clove drops, cat's eye, peppermint drops. Not many people would walk around in a cow hat at this day and age. Not to imply they were ever in fashion or anything. Hi, I'm Bartholomew. Hey, I'm Melvin. What's with the hat? We're doing historical reenactments. You're playing a tabletop war game? Whoa. Okay, sure, but a historical one. Anyway, we only switched to this after we quit doing real reenactments. Why'd you quit? It's too much exercise. Also, somebody kept refusing to lie down when he got killed. You missed. What's the game you're playing? Oh, you probably aren't familiar with this type of board game. It's a very specialized form of entertainment. What I mean is, he seemed to be using Flintlock 4000 rules, but my brother's set didn't have cows. Well, uh, yeah, we had to mod them in ourselves. Cool, huh? Can I play? 
Well, the rules are pretty complex. I don't think the others will want to stop to play a teaching game. I already know it. My brother used to bug me to play him all the time so he could test his strategies. And great, yeah, we're short a player on the cow side. Step up to the table and grab some dice. Alright. I'll play the game. Battle Cow Ridge. Oh, I'm cows? I had to raise my infantry, and then I'm gonna blow up their medic. Why is my meat wall doing nothing? Cow! Cow! Uh, I'm literally gonna die because this cow is doing nothing. Damn, I lost. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this again. Boom, bye. Can you not be stupid? I'll kill you myself. You magic fuck. <gasps> he killed it. Die. Oh, he doesn't have anything to attack. <laughs> I'll play another one. Battle Medley. Oh my god, there's so many. I have so many. Oh, it's 15, 5, 10, 10, 10. I had to utterly destroy that human. Stop. Okay, you... I need to kill this guy. Whoa! I have three AP. I can take out that sniper. I think I need to take out that sniper. Missile. You'll die on your own. Well, he's doing three damage. There, I'll just do that so he can kill him. Smite. Smite. Lobber's battle. Oh, this is dickish. I'm gonna kill one of these guys. Smite you. Cow hit you. Do damage. Stop giving me AP. Kill them. Don't die. Okay. 
I think we're gonna die here, because this cow won't attack anyone now. I did it wrong. Ah, uh, screw that. I'll do early skirmish. Army demon hunter and three grunts. Okay. I'll destroy one of the grunts. I gain AP twice. That was a good decision, it seems. They're gonna give me more AP. Boom! Well, you aren't gonna buy me enough time. Smite. Smite. Even myself. Smite. I will smite you again. Lobber's battle. I got. I got to figure out this one. Raise your stats twice. Missile him. Okay, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna kill one per turn. I just need to focus on this guy up here in the corner then. Kill myself. Boom. You'll never win. Ah, oh, you're really good at this game. Getting good was the only way to keep my little brother from lording it over me all the time. I feel like we should give you some kind of prize. Um, got some leftover guns from when I was gluing the figurines together. Want them? Sure. Bunch of really small guns. Could also be used to outfit a small army of elves. How did you get into this? Uh, a lot to read. Like the game stuff. I don't even... I don't want to talk to all these guys. Wait. He said something. Oh, he's going to actually join a game. Um, How did you get into it? Yeah, whatever. Barracks. No! 25 mysticality. 25 mysticality. I'll never be able to get that. I have 12. Oh, maybe I can actually. Hold on. Volting bolt. Which better... Um... St. Beefus's thigh is too good. Hmm. 
Nope, can't get enough mysticality. Dang, that sucks. Stench resistance. Oh boy, do I have something for that. Kurt's fit pants. Not what I meant. Click on Kurt's fit pants. Is it better? Seven muscle over armor and speed. Mm. Spittoon. The liquid in the spittoon is bright yellow. I feel like that's all that needs to be said about it. I'm looking closer. Alright, I'd never understand you. Alright, well, you crouch down next to the spittoon. From the nauseatingly sweet stench coming off of it, it appears that these nerds haven't been using it as, as a makeshift urinal, as you may have suspected, but rather they're using bright yellow lemon-lime soda-flavored chewing tobacco. Unless. Well, another possibility is that they have been using it as a urinal, and they're all extremely diabetic, which now I think about is a real possibility. In fact, it's probable that both these things are true. Search it. Really, you're just going to put your hand in the nerd's piss and or spit bucket and just going to die right in there, huh? Just going to splish splash around in that sticky yellow broth of spit and pee with no restraint whatsoever? Yeah. No, I sure am. With a fanfare of sad trombones and a choir of angels retching, a sword rises out of the spittoon, held aloft by a wet, bedraggled, and miserable-looking woman's arm. Since you're already kneeling, the arm wastes no time before tapping you on both shoulders with the sword, splashing your clothes with yellow slime, and officially declaring you Bartholomew, Bartholomew McNugent, King of Filth. Congratulations. The sword clatters on the floor as the hand drops it with a shudder and withdraws into the spittoon. Blexcalibur. I gotta use Blexcalibur. 12 to 14, 12 to 15. Still is sad and neglected. Most of the mess hall has been moved outside. Wander. Lone tombstone off the side of the trail. It's the final resting place of Ben Treasure Haver, who died many years ago. Dig it up. The grave turns out to be disappointingly treasure free. Wander. Hell, hey, you found your crate. You don't remember losing a crate, but it must be yours because it has mine stenciled on the side. You pry the lid off your crate and reclaim all your lost and forgotten possessions. The West Pole. Let's go. We mess with the rocks. Someone suave. A cheeky gesture. I got a heavy trigger finger. <laughs> I'm a powerful, threatening fist. Nah, fuck that. I'm mystical. 20 mysticality. Okay, hold on. It cost me 20 of whatever stat I put it in, right? All right. So, if I get myself 20 mysticality. Or 20 muscle, actually. I should do the muscle. Muscle is pretty easy to get. An impregnable tower. Heart of stone. Okay. I need to set up my mysticality pretty good. I have my mysticality up as far as I can. Cheeky 
gesture. Powerful. Pull my tower back. Cause I'll, this this will be whatever. Whenever I get better items. Reboot hell, let's go. I don't have a keystone. Wait. Since when have I been able to do that? I didn't know I could jump. Reboot hill. Boot hill. With repainted on it. This is a big place. Plot one. Ghost. You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed. Above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. Howdy, ma'am. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys. And after that, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. Um, you, uh... You know you're a ghost, right? Oh, yes. In fact, I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. It's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. So what did you forget? I brought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed, I can't bear to leave until I've remembered. Maybe I can help you figure it out. Remember anything about your granddaughter? Well, I'm quite certain her first name ended in a vowel. Anything else? Oh, fuck. This is going to be a math thing. Shit. Hold on. You give me a piece of paper and damn pencil or something. A pen. That works. Starts with vowel. Oh, sorry. Ends, ends with vowel. Um. Anything else? Her first name was longer than her last. Anything else? She wasn't buried next to any of her daughters. Anything else? Same age as poor, poor Becky. Anything else? Knitting? I, uh, I'll be back in a minute. Pamela. That's... 24. Did she say what her name was? Oh my god. In cover coffin that was apparently delivered by mail because it has the address print. Still has the address printed on it. Either that or this was a joke about someone going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. 
Did she say her name? Oh, she said she said that they married the Smith boys, right? So she's not a Smith. Are they all Smiths? Let's see. Oh, okay. Is, is it just the dates? The 40, 42, whatever. I'm writing down the shit now. Not Pamela. Penultimate. Not the first Becky Smith. So Meredith died at thirty five six seven thirty seven died at thirty seven. Um all right, find Wesley again. Or first Becky Smith. She died at uh, 38, so not her. It's probably penultimate or whatever stupid shit. It's gotta be penultimate. I don't think I know who she was. Did her name start with a P? Was it P? Penultimate Becky? Damn it. Damn it. Well, I got it wrong, and now I have to sleep to get this right. And that's a pain in my butt. Oh, there was more shit over here. This time the bar ate him. Marmot skin cap. Big Bob Hurlingham, gone to the big pie heating contest in the sky. A trip pie. Annette sent the bomb, tried to eat her way out of a bear. Really gonna hate this burial thing. Hey, I'm trying to read that. Nobody ever saw a man die that way before. A whole gang of skelly boys. Yeah, spooky them all. Hey! Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. I need to disable you. And silver bullet your friends. I, I gotta use items here.
Because I am going I'm gonna get screwed here if I don't use my items. Now, I'm going to die here. Not who I went to throw that at. 100%. I'm just wasting all my dynamite. Okay, Spooky. Pull my snake out. Stop. Stop. Don't whiff. You fuck. You fuck. You're a piece of shit. There's a chance I miss. I didn't miss the damage marker. I wasn't taking chances there. That guy was doing a lot of damage. I defeated that whole gang of sweet skeletons. 200 XP. Here lies the sweet gang. May they never wake up. Sweet sword. Is this better than my black saber? Or Black Excalibur? Hell no, Black Excalibur. Oh no, Black Excalibur's bad where I'm at. Cause skeletons. Plot to Shank Weems. We're reasonably sure he's dead. They got him coming and going. I got Scotch. Old Dead Tom. Couldn't remember the rhyme about which snakes are poisonous. First lady bicyclist to ride off a cliff. Remains of a picnic. What else? I got Pat in the medic. Riding boots. Riding boots might be better than my boots that I was wearing. For the speed. I don't really need that top tier moxie right now. Vernon Pensacord. Professional sword swallower. All the bits we could find of Dynamite Jim Fresca. Open the door. Inside there's a document of weird little metal object. Bit litter. Key fragment. Bit litter. Pick the lock. Read the document. Okay. There's more writing down shit. God damn it. Good thing I've got a handy dandy piece of paper. I'll read this one again, so B T L I T R I have safe cracking for that. Fuck that. I don't even have safe cracking. How am I supposed to have safe cracking? Key for simple key. Damn. I gotta level up my stupid shit here. Ah, but I have just realized I am all out of time for this episode, everybody. 
So I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.